If you've installed Android 13, you've probably seen themed icons, and they're a decent throwback to the days of icon packs and the somewhat chaotic customization that we're all accustomed to here on Android. While they are fun and inviting, frustratingly, a lot of apps still don't even have themed icon variants, and even Google's own apps don't adhere to their theming, would you believe? But I'm gonna guide you through the process of creating cohesive themed icons for any app on Android in less than a minute. So let's get into it. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So how are we gonna go from this to this? Well, we're gonna use a popular application and one we featured here on the channel before called Shortcut Maker. It's completely free. So don't worry, I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna theme your own device completely. So this would also work with any device that has at least some elements of Material U and Dynamic Color adopted. That means Android 12 or higher. You'll find it within the color palette settings on Samsung phones, in the icon section under match wallpaper to colors on Oxygen OS and some color OS devices, and within the icon section under background color on MIUI, and just the standard wallpaper and style app on Pixel, Nothing Phone, and Sony Xperia devices, if you're wondering what the heck we're talking about. Using Shortcut Maker in the Google Play Store, though, you can create custom-made themed icons for any app within your app drawer, although it might not appear there. Depending on how crazy you want to get with it, you can troll through every single application on your home screen and change almost every aspect of those icons here too. In this guide though, we're gonna focus on creating a themed icon variant of app icons to match Android 12 and Android 13's themed color icon toggle does to capable or compatible applications. On some third-party schemes like Oxygen OS, Color OS, and MIUI, you might need to use a launcher as the shortcut maker widgets don't always play nicely with the default home screens over there for whatever reason. So use a third party launcher and you will be fine. Enough chit chat though, let's show you how to complete your device theming. So rather than opening Shortcut Maker as you might have expected, go to your home screen or your launcher of choice and long press or tap an empty area to open up the widgets panel. Now with the widgets panel open, scroll down to the Shortcut Maker section and expand it. And you should see two widgets here. We need to select and drag the shortcut in brackets standard option to anywhere on your home page or even your dock, for instance. This will load up the shortcut maker application. And if you haven't seen this before, it's really simple, but this is where the magic can begin. Select the app section and now pick whichever app you want to add and theme. And now you'll get a new view that will give you options to change the icon label or even lock the app with a pin. That's always a nice option. From here, just hit that icon button and then we can start tweaking properly. Now scroll over to the theme section on the right side and you can pick the exact color palette or tone that you want with various connotations available to those to choose from. On Pixel, you might just need to adjust the size to around 90 to 95% to fit in with the rest of your home screen icons as Shortcut Maker is slightly bigger or the icons that they do create are slightly bigger for whatever reason. When you're happy with your tuning, just hit the check mark and your new app will be on your home screen. It literally is as easy as that. And you can do this as, as many times as you wish. On devices that might not work properly though, you can actually use the Shortcut Maker app directly and create widgets from within the app itself. However, this will add a small label to each icon that can be a little bit distracting, but you do have an option to make custom color icons to fit your theming if you wish. In that instance though, on those devices, I would suggest using the Material U Dynamic Icon Pack from the Play Store. I'll leave a link down in the description below for that too. This is a great alternative and you can plug this into your existing theme, but it will override system icons if they're not added or supported. So play around with that one is my advice. But that in a nutshell is how you complete the dynamic color icon theme on your Android phone, so long as it's running Android 12 or higher. This method should work on most Android devices, as I say, but it this is an overdue custom video that we thought we would share at this point because sometimes it's nice to have the option, but if not all your icons are themed, it can look a little bit incohesive. Let me know though what your preferred theming options are down in the comment sections below. It's always interesting to hear from you. And I think that's really the beauty of the Android as we have choices to customize as we really see fit. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.